Yep. What a huge one! Well, I'm late. Haven't left yet, but hey, I got the deck done. I shouldn't say deck, the step on the new house. Got batteries rocking and most of them are all charged. Most, not quite all of them. I think I've got everything. Had stuff scattered out here on the floor earlier. Now I don't. Now everything's just scattered here by the truck. So I will be on the way here, hopefully in the next hour before it gets dark. Should miss traffic in the cities. So that should be good. 2019. Mule deer, got stash. It ain't failed me yet, but it's bound to at some point. All the first uh, first morning dance, if you want to call it, from getting out here, I didn't see much. I seen a spike and a don't a fawn and that stuff that I, I guess I have done pretty well in, or at least seen some deer in before. Um, no cattle in there. I kind of did like my normal run around and look for where the cattle were first before spending any amount of time walking. Then went and walked into some stuff, and it's really green out here this year a lot a lot of green stuff it's not overly dry at all so they've definitely had plenty of rain but it's nice out it was gorgeous this morning it was actually cold this morning a stiff wind and 40 degrees so it's like low 70s and some breeze and just woke up from my cat nap <laughs> i'm gonna go sling some arrows and i don't know go do some hiking tonight Hair, huh? So yeah, everything's put together. Tents up. Grill is heating up right now. Pulling that one four by four this afternoon. That I think that's gonna be the game plan. That's literally the only deer I found. So I'm gonna put all the eggs in that basket. See what how that rolls. Can't hunt till noon, but I think I'll end up carrying the bowl back in there with me, just so I don't get pinched and have to. End up seeing them and then can't get back out to get to the truck and whatever else. So to wait till noon. So if I need to, I'll just hang out in there and at least I got the boat with me. So that's uh, the rundown. Potatoes are going on. I think tonight's going to be a chicken night. Mm-hmm. I'm back in here this morning where I, <clears throat> where I spotted that buck last night. Kind of just getting in that area where it was. And uh, I just spotted him out across this, uh, I'll call it a basin, where, from where he was last night. Now he's just on the other side. So that's good. Mm -hmm. um, 
just kind of, he's moving pretty good, so, I mean, he's just feeding, but he's walking and feeding with a purpose, so, I'm just going to stay watching him here and see what he does. Well, <clears throat> I just backed off that high piece and headed back towards the truck here and <clears throat> figured I'd let that buck kind of swing down underneath me there and then I got out of there and actually luckily I did because looking back right now, he's about 30 yards right straight below right where I was. But that's not that same buck from last night. So, he's not a bad deer by any means, but... You know, that one last night was just a step bigger, but I mean, without really seeing a lot of deer, um, you know, honestly, I think I'm gonna, if that one there stays, it's about nine o'clock right now. I'm just gonna head back to the truck. I didn't carry anything with me this morning. The wind was bad to go right where I wanted to go. I think I'm gonna hang out here, and if he stays there, I think he's in trouble. <laughs> Yeah, I think so. I think we've got a couple hours yet. He's got a, a while to lay there. Doesn't look like the sun's gonna come out, so he should stay. Yeah, we got almost an hour, a little over an hour and a half. Yeah, he should stay there. I like guess, I mean, it's clouded over. Looks like there's more clouds coming and just gonna stay like this, so. I figured I better bust out the old Dale call. All right, well, it's time. So he moved, of course. At about 11 o'clock, the sun came out. About five minutes later, he stood up and he went in between those cedars and it looked like he stayed right there. <clears throat> I didn't see him go out the backside at all. Everything's still right as far as wind and everything. So I just gotta get up on top of that spine and crest and just, I think he's in those cedars now. So I just gotta find him in the cedars and hope that he's still facing down so that's the game plan that's a uh, game plan for now <laughs> till he's not there
Oh, <laughs> oh man. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> oh man. Oh. <laughs> Well, <laughs> it's over. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I was basically just getting here to the point of getting both cameras angled towards him and to be on him. And I was swinging the bow over and I was trying to watch my arrow to stay in my rest. And I look up and he's standing up. And he's, well, he was, I can't even remember right now what the heck it was, 37 yards. And he's laying 86 for me right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, <sighs> that was something else. Oh man. Oh, God, I love stalking deer. Oh, this is so awesome. Let's go get them. <laughs> Actually, I gotta get my pack first. Oh, that stash does it again. That stash gets them again. I've composed myself. I've got the pack. Call my buddy. And I uh, don't know if I'm gonna find this arrow or not, but Go check for the arrow and uh, make the way down the hill. Yep. What? A huge one? Oh yeah, of course. I mean, I see the deer. Oh, it's in the back of the truck. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Dinner is served. I didn't get very much cheese on this one. Cheapers. Hardly anything on this one. Well, only a buck. <laughs>